I'd like to welcome all of you. This is our third annual business design showcase. My name is Brent Haddad. I'm the director of the Center for Entrepreneurship. And I want to thank all of you for being here and celebrating the amazing things our students are doing at UC Santa Cruz. I'd like to also now recognize the team that made this event possible and the intellectual leader of this event, and it's Dr. John Scarden. Mike Reapy is the outgoing president of the Baskin Alumni Advisory Council, and Melissa Liu is the incoming president of the uh, Baskin Alumni Advisory Council. Tim Bench, our Director of Development here in the back. Dustin Gargas, he is a UCSC al alum and we will invite him up in just a minute. And finally, the real engine of this event was Sonia Newland, who uh, organized everything. The teams are, are clapping for Sonia because she's counting the slug bucks. In the <laughs> so we have um, a couple of uh, distinguished guests here. The first one, is uh, Dustin Gargas. I've written a little bit of a path from uh, acceptance to UCSC to where I am today, so I'll continue and begin with that. In Christmas 2014, I received a call. Now, I have everyone thinking here I successfully partnered up and pursued a corporate partnership. Well, business always throws a curveball, and this commit had pulled the rug right from under me. So, it was a devastating blow, but I learned one thing that failing is not an issue, and actually, I'd like to repeat that failing and failing again until you succeed. Let me say one thing. I learned that it takes a special person to go against the grain and to pursue something different than a traditional career path. And I want to thank each and every one of you for chasing after what you love, regardless of consequence. I'm proud to be a slug, and even more proud to listen to all of you today. Uh, my name is Tom Beckett. Uh, I'm the co-founder of Makesmith CNC, later known as Makesmith Tech. Okay, you graduate, you get a degree, maybe you want to go start a business. How do you start talking to the people that can actually help you make that happen? The keynote speaker last year, he, his kind of the theme of his speech was always take the meeting. As a young entrepreneur, go take advantage of that and go make the meeting. If you're really looking to take a business forward, this is the room where you would find people um, to help you do that. Thank you. Thanks, Brent. Um, can everybody hear me? I'm not going to use a microphone, but I've never been accused of being a soft-spoken individual. So. <laughs> the myth of entrepreneurship is generally that you know some wonderkind comes up with a great idea and puts together a business plan and then raises tons of VC money and then and then IPOs at a high at a high valuation right and that happens generally overnight right totally <laughs> well in reality you know most ventures evolve out of a personal need but what really makes an entrepreneur and really thinking about these ideas day in and day out knowing those statistics it's drive and drive is something you can't be taught. And that's Mark Zuckerberg there, driving while texting. Um, it takes both drive and skill. It's not good enough if you have the skill if you don't practice. And it's no good if you practice a lot but don't have the skill. It takes, it takes both. You've got to have work-life balance. If you're 25 and work-life balance really doesn't, you know, what is that, right? You know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't cost you anything to, to spend 24 hours a day working on your but eventually catches up to you. Another thing as an entrepreneur, you need to be comfortable with chaos. If you're not comfortable with chaos, then you're gonna have a problem. But you can't be chaotic yourself. Find the chaos, be comfortable with the chaos, but don't be chaotic yourself. <laughs> the dream here for us, for me, is that you know, in 20 years, maybe 30 years, I want to go to my medicine cabinet when I'm when I'm taking you know a cocktail for to keep me alive till I'm 150. I'm planning on that. <laughs> I want every one of those bottles to say numerate inside. That's that's the pitch. Uh, open your textbooks. To, oh, sorry. <laughs> Just a quick uh, comment about Brandon's. Uh, a presentation. The first half of that presentation was the first week of 1020. A quarter of a percent of the Y Combinator companies actually survive after 12 or 18 months. 
And I say, well, the academic research and entrepreneurship is trying to stop that. I believe a lot of academic uh, researchers have shown that we can improve the odds. And one of those things about improving the odds is please don't go to your Uncle Bob or Aunt Sue and say, I've got this great idea, $50,000, that's all I need. You have no business model, you downloaded some software from SourceForge, you made it do stuff you didn't realize it could do, and clearly you're going to change the world. So in, what we're trying to teach a little bit differently is to get the students to think about the kind of the nine major pieces you have in any business. But this is over the last 25 years, and in every single, for the last 25 years, we were talking about what's the business model. The business model doesn't work. We're not putting a dime into this thing. And what you just heard here was exactly right, which is if you don't get the business model right at the beginning, then if you, if you can kind of moonwalk backwards and say, all right, let's start at this again and start fresh. Thanks for the introduction. My name is Stephen Abreu. Um, I'm an intellectual property attorney. I specialize in biotech transactions. And he's a slug. And I'm a Twice over. Twice over. Um, so the winner of the award goes to New Jack. Uh, let me introduce the winner of the third uh, a prize, Code Naturally, with Justin Blair, Asher Gardner. All of you get behind the check, please. <laughs> right. Before I present this award, I know this company quite well. And what it shows you is, is that it's a business model. It's the drive, it's the personality and the commitment to the business that makes a huge difference to the judges. And so I'd like to present this to Care Cuts. Hey, so here we have the first place check. Wow. I donated that much money. <laughs> Did nobody tell you? <laughs> These three? Jeez. I handed out a check. Yeah, there you go. Okay, anyway, the first place goes to Slither Electric Vehicles. Yeah. Okay, you got one. Congratulations. 